Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody doing? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good, good evening. evening, guys. How is your Wednesday going? Everything? Everything's good. Everything's good. Um, I mean, I'm glad, guys. We are So we are in Wednesday already. Two more days, and we are missing. We are done with class number one. So thanks a lot. Um, Por conectarse super tempranito. I saw Pedrina super early. So thanks a lot for that. Richard, siempre lo veo bien tempranito. So thanks a lot as well. Y el resto de compañeros, you know, que ya estaban listos. So I, pre I appreciate it. And uh, well, let's get started today with um, this session. Give me one second here. Regálenme un segundito. Okay, and there we go. So, uh, como siempre lo hacemos, vamos a pasar asistencia, you know, just to get started. So, solo me regalan confirmación, just give me some confirmation, you're there. Um, Anita is mi primera persona, I don't know if Anita is here. Not yet. Give me a second. Uh, hold up, just give me one second. Let me open this up. Okay, so Anita is not here. Brenda? Teacher, present teacher. Hello, I'm Magna. <laughs> I like your name. Brian? Okay, Brian todavía no está. Brian's not here. Present. Thank you, thank you very much. Just allow me one second. Give me one second, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I'm just getting a technical issue here. Okay, thanks a lot for waiting. Carlos, are you around, Carlos? Eh, Dani? Guadalupe? Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Natalie? Present. Thank you. Jackie? Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. I'm glad you're here. Jocelyn? Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Ignacio? Ignacio is not here yet. Eh, Norbert? I'm going to go to Norbert, but just give me please. Yes. Yeah, thank you yes. so much. <laughs> thank you. Marvin Bonilla? Marvin, Marvin? Okay, not yet. Uh, Marvin Lopez? Not yet. Clary? Clary, are you around? Hello, Miss. Hello, Clary. Hello. Hola. ¿Cómo siguió? How are you doing? Just a poco mejor. Yes. 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 Y
or the same? Sí, ya un poquito mejor. Um, very well. Hola, Brenda. How are you doing, amiga? Hola, Clara. No, but I'm glad. No saludarte. Oye, la escucho de, de niño, te oigo. I know. Sí, qué malvada. I was telling her yesterday. Pero ella se escucha más clara, de hecho. Ah, oh, ok, ok. A little clearer. Hola, la que te mejoré. Yeah, hopefully. Yes. Moses, ¿está por acá, Moses? Pedrina. Pedrina. Thank you so much. René. Okay, Richard. Richard, voy a poder la cámara un ratito porque estoy trabajando. Gracias, Miss. Gracias por comentármelo. No worries. Eh, Sandra Abigail. Abigail. Present teacher. Hello, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, I'm Very glad. Good. Glad to hear that. Uh, Mabel. Hello, Mabel. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. And um, Ingrid. I'm missing a still Ingrid. Um, yes, guys, I know. Yo sé que han habido problemas con el eh, con el electricidad, with internet. Hubo un bajón, you know, y les agradezco enormemente que estén acá. That you have a join our session, that you are ready, you know, to practice as much as we can. So thanks a lot for that. René, gracias por conectarse. Thanks a lot. Me imagino está trabajando. I imagine yes. you're working. Le agradezco enormemente. You are with us. Eh, Brian, por ahí veo a Brian también. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Brian. Thanks a lot. Gracias por uh, también acompañarnos. El, let me see. Creo que Dani también se estaba uniendo. Hi, Dani. Oh, ok. His audio todavía está en proceso. All right. So, uh, thanks, guys. Gracias por acompañarnos. Like, one more day. It's really important for us to have you. Uh, to know you're here, to know you're motivated, and uh, you know, to do our best so we can finish this module and uh, speak in English. That is, el, el, you know, the goal, que es la meta de todos nosotros. So today, vamos a tener nuestra sesión número tres. Today is session number three. We are working with the first unit, all right? And uh, yesterday, vimos un par de de expresiones con what, wh, what I need, what you need, etc. Now, uh, what words? Did you learn any new vocabulary yesterday? ¿Se recuerdan de alguna palabrita que aprendieron ayer? Any new word? Any word that was new for you? Certainly. De la que se recuerda, right? Sin ver el cuaderno. Ya escuché el cuaderno here. <laughs> no. Is there any word that you say, oh, yo voy, me recuerdo Yo voy a esto. desactivar la cámara, entonces. Oh, eh, Richard, <laughs> no, no la, le puse la, la cámara. La, la única que, que... No... Okay, uh, Richard, ¿está un poco mejor su internet? ¿No se escucha mejor? Richard, creo que todavía se le sigue quebrando un poquito. I think he's breaking a little bit. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, hello. No se escucha. Can you listen to us? Oh, sí. O nos quebramos. Oh, sí, ya se listen. Oh, okay. Pues creo que se apagó esta cosa. Okay. Guys, ustedes se me escuchan. ¿Quién yo les escucho? Yes, Miss. Con eco, teacher. Pero bien. Si apago la cámara, si le escucho, teacher. Si no. Oh, ok, suena como que es internet. Si vos apagámosle un momento, yo sé que está ahí. Si vos apagámosle un momento, yo sé que está ahí. Okay. Ay, de veras, yo también me escucho. Se escucha doble, <laughs> mi. Se I para... listen to my, my voice as well. Sí. 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 
La voz interna, Twitch. <laughs> My second voice. Okay. <laughs> What's going on there? Okay. So, thanks a lot. Creo que ya algunos... La conciencia. Nos acompañan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Richard, ya lo escucho. I listen to you now. Okay. Oh, yes. Great, yes, great, yes. great. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad we can listen to you. Well, so, you knew. Uh -huh, what you need. ¿Qué palabras se recuerdan yes. that we learned yesterday? What do you remember? Push. What you need. Push. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> no worries. Vamos a verlo ahora. We are going to check Factory. this out today. Factory. Okay. Exactly. To exactly. place, Miss. Que no solamente se utiliza para el lugar. Uh, ¿Cuál palabra, perdón? Bueno, yeah. ya la puse ahí. Place. Oh, place. Que no solo es, es un lugar, sino posicionar uh, también. Eso es nuevo algo. para mí. Exactly. Yes. So, place. Yo le puedo decir, oh, place the order. Como... Yes. Orden esto en, en internet. I can tell you, haga una orden, like place an order, and that makes sense. So, revisamos some of the words that we checked yesterday. A ver si nos acordamos un poquito. If not, let's get and let's make this new vocabulary for us, okay? Grab. We checked that yesterday. What is the meaning of grab? Anybody? Como empujar, means? Mm, that was pushy. La siguiente. <laughs> the next one. Tomar. Tomar, pero con fuerza, right? Oh, like when yeah. you come yeah. and you say, Mar. grab, como sujete Mar. esto. Exactly. Tomar. So grabbing es sujetelo, tom, tome algo, right? Uh, so you grab it con mucha fuerza. That's grab. Funeral. What's the funeral? Uh -huh. And you have the picture here. Acá está la, la fotito. So you have the picture here. So you can, you know, relate to that. A place, we checked yesterday, como dice Clary, no solo es un lugar, sino también la acción de poner algo en un lugar. So I can tell you, oh, póngalo ahí. Place it there. Como déjelo, como póngalo. So that is placing. Factory. What was a factory? Fabricar. What can you give me? Mm -hmm. Una fábrica donde se hacen cosas, de, se fabrican, right? Um, then we have like some other words, for example, tongs, okay? So, que la vamos a ver en la conversación that we have right here, but in the meantime, let's check it out. Tongs is este dibujito, this little drawing we have right here. No sé si logran identificarlo, I don't know if you can identify the drawing. Tongs. When do you use tongs? Yo no sé ni cómo se llama en español. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> okay. The meat. When you cut meat, okay. When you are like moving, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. When you are turning it around. In Spanish, ¿cómo le llaman? Como pinzas, I would say. Tenazas kind of tenazas, pinzas. In Spanish, le cambiamos el nombre a todo. So, but yes, they are tones in English, right? So, son esas cositas. Those are the things. The next one we have today is a conveyor belt. I am sure you have seen conveyor belt in at the supermarket, at the airport. Mm, let me think. Any other place? The conveyor belt is a band and it moves like this, okay? So when you go to the supermarket, you put the objects on the conveyor belt and it's like... Como una banda. Exactly, exactly. That is called a conveyor belt. So I have seen it at Super Selectos. Uh, I have seen it at uh, the airport. ¿A dónde más? ¿Dónde lo han visto? Where have you seen that? At EPA, no. I have never seen it at EPA. Any other place where you can see a conveyor belt? In your companies, guys? No, I convey your belt. Guadalupe? No. In your company? No? No. Jocelyn, in your, in your place? The chair. No? Yes, Carlos? No. In, in, the machine, in the machine of my enterprise, they there are 
uh, money belts, convention belts. Oh, yeah, because you have you work in a manufacturing company, right? Yes, uh, in mm -hmm. the process of packing. Mm, that's very the, common the machine, there. Uh, translate the <laughs> products in belts. Not, oh. not all belt is convention. Mm -hmm. Some some belt are uh, same to chain. Same to mm -hmm. chain. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. But, uh, there are different machines and, and different belts. All right, good to know. Um, Jocelyn, a conveyor belt, it's a black, like a black band. For example, when you go to Super Selectos and you pay for your products, you put the toilet paper, you put the milk, oh, okay. you put the, co the cookies, and this machine moves like uh, and yeah. mm -hmm. That is a conveyor uh, belt. It's the name. Mm -hmm. So no, in my work, I don't. There are, oh. there no, are uh -huh. conveyor that belts. Is. Okay, <laughs> any other work or any other place where you have seen conveyor belts? I, yeah, I remember uh, the conveyor belt in the, you say, embassy. Oh, at the embassy. I attended for a client in the interior of the embassy. I remember the, in the door is the conveyor belt. At the door? And yeah, uh, Okay. No una puerta, sino ya interno, pero no sé cómo se dice una puerta. Uh, at the gate? Una puerta maybe? interna, no sé, como para dar acceso al, al estacionamiento. Ok. But like a... Hi, Ignacio, thank you. Como, como un gate. Como una puerta. Ok. Yeah, sí, we can call it door. Para donde se pone sus cosas para que lo... Bueno, para que lo registre. Para que lo registre. Ah, correcto. Es un gate, entonces. Ah, ok. So, in the gate, como en la... Um, um, oh, my God, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. <laughs> so, como en el portoncito. <laughs> ok, where they ask you to remove a metal, everything from yes, your pockets. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, like at the gate. Sure, okay, or metal, at the security and point. And coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, everything. Everything that is kind of metal made. All right, okay, very good. So that is a conveyor belt, ya la bandita. The next word we have is label. Have you ever seen the word label? Yes, here. Yes, Ignacio? Yes. Just a, a, a little participation. For example, in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan in the Shinjuku station, mm -hmm. um, how how uh, uh the the conveyor belt mm -hmm. for the different person for for quickly quickly move the person out of the oh. station oh what <laughs> okay it's a, it's a long it's, it's a long long a conveyor belt. Okay, so in Japan, what you are saying is that you stand on the belt. So usted se para, you stand. The Shinjuku station is a, is a subway. Okay. Or in the, this a principal station, this side to move, uh, for too much uh, cities okay. in in the in this place have a conveyor belt for the for people okay yeah so it's people, for people yeah. it's very people, interesting pe pe people people then bags and bags oh okay like bags suitcase very interesting yeah. because normally it's for objects but okay Thank you, thank you for the cultural note. So that is very nice to, to, to learn, you know, very nice. Okay, guys, let's go on with the next word we have that is label. Carlos, you mentioned that a label is? Piñetas. In, yes. Uh, I, in the enterprise, uh, use a lot uh, different 
uh, types of label. Uh, for okay. example, for quality control, put the label that uh, give of uh, the quality of the product. Okay. In the label, put the uh, expiration date of the product mm -hmm. and another specification. And oh. uh, when the product for the export, put label with the name of the client of okay. another part of the world. Okay. Very interesting. So you have a lot of labels. Yes, actually labels are this. Let me show, oh, I don't know. I don't think you will be able to see that because of my, um, because of my video description. No, you cannot see this. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me disable. Let me disable my background because I want you to see this. Um, okay, there it goes. So, uh, I don't know if you can see this uh, here. So this like white piece of paper, this is a label and it has information like, for example, um, when the product expired, the, the number, you know, I don't know what else. Not in the it doesn't have a date, but it has like an address, a phone number. So this is like a little label, right? The one that has information. If you have, for example, a blouse, so your blouses in the parte de atrás tienen como un, una label, como un pedacito de material, right? And it has like instructions, materials, etc., where it was made. So that is the label, right? Como la viñeta, the tag. So that is the one that we can use. Uh, products, normally products have labels with expiration, uh, with, yeah, I would suggest expiration. That, that is the most important information in a label. Um, the next word we have is ground. What do you understand by ground? What is ground, guys? Have you ever seen the word ground? Ground. What is, what, what is ground? Um, ground I don't know. Can, can be two things. Number one is like, um, literalmente la tierra. So that is one, the ground, all right? So la tierra. And the other one, it can be kind of, uh, Alguna vez han comido um, carne molida? That you have like the pieces. Okay, so in English, um, se llama um, grounded um, meat. Mm -hmm. So um, ground um, es como eso, you know, como ya algo molido. Something that is super tiny, as Carlos says, como el granulo. Yeah, like, but super tiny. No tiene nada que ver con grano. Solo es como ground. Like little pieces of something. So, for example, meat. We can have grounded meat. Okay, como la carne ya molida. Um, ¿Qué otro producto se puede hacer como molido, súper pequeñito? Maybe grounded chicken. Sure. He comprado como pollo molido sometimes. Ya, yeah, Ignacio. Teacher, my. El chicharrón. Mm -hmm. Pork, yes. Pork. Ignacio. Teacher, my, 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 my participate is, for example, Yesterday I speak about the ground ground water. Oh, and, okay. Ground and water. The ground ground water is a uh, agua subterránea. Okay. Interesting. What, what is the what, what is the the sounds like underground? <laughs> underground. Uh, uh, under. Sounds like underground. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, but, but that's great. Well, de hecho, nos da una mejor idea de ground. Ground is, you know, tierra, everything that is related to soil, uh, to soil. And then we have ground, uh, que es también la comida. So we can have grounded, like grounded meat, grounded, grounded pork, uh, y todo lo que se pueda hacer pequeñito, right? Uh, the last word we have is assemble. Any idea what assemble is? I, I, teacher, I have an example, the ground. Okay, uh, perfect. For example, in, in the enterprise, 
uh, there are a machine. Uh, the name is Sandblasting Ground. It's a machine, este... ¿Cómo se dice lija? How do you say lija? Like sandpaper? Yes, but in, this machine is with ground. Oh, uh, okay. The process is, uh, I put one object in the center of the machine, in, in, in one space, and the machine, uh, how do you say lanza? Throws? Lanzar, como que Throw. tira. Throw. Yeah, no throw. Sé. No, no me imagino la máquina tirando something. Eso okay, hace. So, como... The machine throws. Es que eso es como, I was thinking. So la máquina tira. Ok, the machine es... throws. El que tira. Es como que, es como que se le está tirando agua a algo. Pero oh. es arena, son gránulos. Oh, y eso es un lado. Ajá, por eso es que la máquina se llama sandblasting ground. Sandblasting Ajá, y es para lijar. Hace el lijado de chorro, se llama eso. Entonces para okay. eso se ocupa el, el ground, el gránulo. Wow, that's a quiere? very specific technical word. <laughs> In machine. Do you have a picture that you can show us? Maybe with the eh, picture we get an idea. Oh, okay, okay, no worries. Yeah, I think it would be better because um, unless estamos familiarizados con el área, I would say it's a little hard to understand what a machine does. But very interesting, and thanks a lot for sharing your example. That's amazing. Ahora que hablamos de máquinas, and Carlos brings the topic up for us, let's take a look at the word assemble. So assemble is that, guys, to put together different parts. Alguna vez, have you ever assembled anything? Have you ever put pieces together to make a machine or to make something? Uh, assemble the, the, the clothes? The clothes. Oh, in your case, yeah, because you put together the pieces to yes. make one item. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's not a machine, but it can perfectly fit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Anybody else? Guys, have you assembled any machine? Guadalupe, can you assemble machines? The sewing machines? Las máquinas de coser? Yes. Can you assemble them like piece by piece? Yes. Wow. Wow. That, that must be difficult. Guys, can you assemble any machine? Like put together, pueden armar algo, like, I don't know, a blender, um, a stove, I don't know, anything? To be honest with you, I yes. have tried but yes. at the end, <laughs> me faltan piezas, assemble, so me sobran, so assemble, <laughs> I don't try again. Assemble part car. In your case, yes, you assemble parts, exactly. You yes. assemble alarms yes. also. Yeah, oh, you're wow. right. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. What about the rest of you? Do you can you assemble any material? Uh, so, assemble uh, kids uh, audio. Oh, okay, okay. Like the sound system, very nice, exactly. So assemble is that, put pieces together. Yes. I, teacher, I found, I found the, the picture of, of machine. Oh, okay. Maybe you can share that in WhatsApp so everybody can have access to it. I think it's uh, easier teacher. that way. Yes? Okay. Yes, Ignacio? But my, another, participate but oh, in, no worries in, Go our, ahead. In, in our company mm -hmm. we have we have an industrial workshop mm -hmm. you know and um, the, the 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 people this mm -hmm. side assembly the pump for wow water. wow assembly okay the different the different component uh, assembly the pump and motor 
uh, submersible motor. Engine. Engine, 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 mm -hmm. engine submersible electrical. With wow. For water. Wow, that, that sounds something very difficult. Okay, so that's the engine. Okay, they, they assemble the, the pump. Okay, nice, nice. Can you assemble that? Sorry? Can you assemble the, the, the engine and the pump as well? Yes, yeah, the different pump for water. Okay. O only, only for water, no, no other systems. Only, only for water. Only, yeah. But, but I guess it, it is not that easy. So thanks a lot for that. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the following conversation. We are going to, it says here, tell someone how to do something by using imperatives. Ahora vamos, de hecho, it's going to be very interesting porque vamos a aprender cómo descri describir uh, orders, process, and things like those. But to get started, I just need to volunteers. Uh, Brian, I'm going to take you. So thank you very much. You can help me read um, Mr. Roland. And uh, let me see, I came to escuchado por varios días. Who haven't I heard? And do, do, do. Sandra, I'm going to take you. Please, Sandra, help me read Miss Nunez. <coughs> So, Sandra, you can start whenever you are ready. Hello, Miss. Hello. Hello. Oh. The, la primera, Miss. Miss Nunez. Solo, like, first and the last. Hello, Mr. Rolando. Roland, today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to the plant what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Nunez. Where do you we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pile of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Yes. Make sure each met the specification in this, this chart. chart. Mm -hmm. Third, place the defect chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling a, a report at the end of the day about the defeat pieces. Thank you very much. All right, boys. Well, boy and girl, <laughs> thanks a lot for that. Uh, first, they are talking about like the process they are going to do in the production line. And the person says, like, okay, where do I start? ¿Qué hago? What am I going to do? Um, first of all, ¿de qué, de qué proceso están hablando? What is the process? Um, ¿Qué están haciendo? What are they doing? What are they talking about? Chocolate. Yeah, they, right. They are talking about chocolate. Exactly. Now, um, they are very specific about the process. So first, um, they miss. says, yes. Clary? Eh, bueno, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero está como um, saying in true instructions. Yes, exactly. So the person is giving instructions. No, you got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. So, estamos hablando de cuál es el proceso de instructions that you have to follow. And we have three right here. Number one, push the red button. Number two, grab a pair of tongs. Si se recuerdan, vimos el significado de tongs. And if you don't remember, you can go to the beginning. So, tongs son los dibujitos que tenemos acá. Exactly, los. 
los que no sabemos cómo se dice en Spanish. <laughs> okay, so grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece, right? Like take every piece. Uh, then the person says, read the chart and check every piece. So you have to check it, like the quality control. Make sure it meets the specifications, like el tamaño, el color, everything, you know? And then place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Que era place? What was the meaning of place? No es como lugar. Lugar. Over. ¿Qué se refiere acá? Over. Mm -hmm. Place the chocolate in the funnel. So le está diciendo que lo ponga, que lo posicione in the funnel. And the funnel era el dibujito that we had on top right here, right? That is a funnel. Okay. Then fill a report about the defective pieces and that's it. So this is the process. Today, vamos a ver cómo hablar de proceso. So, but not necessarily like this. It is related to the things that you do every day. So let's take a uh, let's take a look at the topic for today that is imperatives. Imperatives, as Clary said, me ayudan para instructions. I'm going to use this topic to talk about instructions, commands, que son órdenes, orders, okay? For example, ¿cuáles son algunas órdenes that we receive every single day? Open the door. Close the door, clean your shoes, sit down, stand up, wear your mask. Yeah, so those are the things that we listen to every day. So some ordinance, things that we listen to or things that we say. Probablemente ustedes la reciban o ustedes como padres, como managers, etc. Ustedes son quienes las dicen. We can also use this topic, we can use the verbs para dar un par de sugerencias, utilizando let's. Let's run, let's go to the beach, let's take a picture. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Cuando el verbo va solito, es una orden. Cuando va con let's, es más una, suger una sugerencia, right? Today nos vamos a enfocar en las órdenes, the orders, how to give orders in English. So, let me present the following slide. Les voy a presentar la siguiente para que veamos más ejemplos. Let me move to the following. So, tu, 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 tu. okay. Entonces tenemos la parte de do's and don'ts, que serían orders that we receive, instructions that we receive. Cuando le pido a alguien que haga algo, solamente utilizo el verbo. No va ningún sujeto. So, si se fijan, I am not using I, you, they, I'm not going to use anything. If I have an order for Brian, I just say, do your homework. If I have an order for Pedrina, I say, Pedrina, come early. <laughs> okay. I, but, I, but it's not necessary to say Pedrina. I can simply say, hey, come early. Yeah. I can say, give me the report in five minutes. And this is an order. It sounds like an order. Now, the following part, if you check, it's don'ts. ¿A qué se refiere con don'ts? Don'ts son prohibiciones. The part of don'ts, le estoy diciendo, no lo haga, okay? No haga esto, no haga lo otro. How do I express a prohibition using uh, imperatives? Simplemente, again, no utilizo ningún sujeto. Don't eat at your spot. Hey, Jocelyn, no coma en su lugar de trabajo. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Jocelyn. I'm just taking you as an example. But I'm just kidding. Don't bring, oh, I don't know if you have seen this. Algunas veces las chicas traemos como 20 nail polishers, um, los pinta uñas that we call, okay, the nail polishers. And your boss is like, hey, hey, Natalie, don't bring the nail polishers, please. Yeah, so no lo haga, don't bring them. Or uh, maybe some people run in the office, so you can simply say, hey, don't run in the office. That is not permitted. So, tenemos este, estos dos tipos de órdenes o instructions. Si le quiero decir, haga esto, I can simply use the verb. Acá dice do, pero no significa que solo va a utilizar do. You can use any verb uh, that we need, okay? Pero los don'ts, sí es obligatorio que lleve don't para expresar una prohibición. Like, for example, I want to say, no utilice el teléfono, please. 
don't use your cell phone. Um, en algunas empresas no les permiten usar tacones. So they can have a prohibition like, oh, don't wear high heels in the company or don't wear sandals. O si alguien va con crocs, hey, please, don't wear crocs in the company, okay? So this is the do's and this is the don'ts. Las cosas que podemos o no podemos hacer. One more time, let me move ahead with this part. Because hay otro verbo que no le hemos puesto acá, but it's important as well. Y es el verbo to be. Como el verbo no lo cambio, no lo modifico, no hago nada, solamente lo digo tal cual. Si yo le quiero decir a alguien, uh, please, sea puntual, ¿cómo le expreso sea puntual? Solo digo be, and then punctual. Y eso es todo. Please be punctual. Si le quiero decir a alguien, ah, oh, por favor, sea responsable. ¿Cómo le digo sea responsable, Ben? Be responsible. Be responsible. Exactly, just that, be responsible. But then, si quiero decirle algo como muy fuerte, tú a un employee o a, al sobrino, a las sobrinas, a sus hijos, like, uh, no seas tan holgazán. ¿Cómo le puedo expresar eso? How can I tell a person? No sea. Siguiendo esta estructura, let's take a look. ¿Qué es lo primero que digo para expresar una prohibición? Don't, 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 be, be, so. don't be. Exactly. Se oye un poquito raro, I know, pero ese es el único momento donde estos dos se combinan. So don't be, no sea. Um, I don't know. ¿Qué, qué, uh, what commands? Don't be crying. Um, Well, Lazy. quizás sería un poco más directo, como Don't Cry, como la canción, Don't Cry, uh -huh. Don't Be Lazy. Don't be, mm -hmm. don't be Lazy, Don't Be Irresponsible, no sea cochino. <laughs> okay, Don't Be Dirty, uh, Don't Be Messy. Um, uh, and, teacher. Yeah, give me more examples. Don't I ran out of examples. Teacher. Teacher. Don't Be Tacaño. <laughs> Ignacio? But do you say Tacaño? In our company, uh -huh. for example, stingy. to Monday at the Thursday, mm -hmm. we we need to use uniform. Oh. But, the, but the Friday is free. Mm -hmm. But oh. the boss say, don't bring the don't. Uh, They can't bring ripped pants. Ah, uh, uh, ripped, I guess you mean. Como de los ripped. abiertos, de los yeah, rojitos. Yeah, yeah. Ripped. Mm -hmm. is, is, it is don't, don't possible. Uh, That is the prohibition. To use, yeah, it's pro the prohibition. Ripped mm -hmm. or torn. But, 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 so this, so but torn. this free, but this free. We, oh, we don't okay. use. Yeah, uniform, uniform. Return. Okay, okay. No, but that sounds great. And I like it because, for example, in my company, yeah, on Fridays, eh, podíamos usar like jeans and everything, but the only prohibition here at Corporativo was que no podíamos usar tenis. So, you know, uh, wear jeans, but don't wear uh, sneakers or don't wear running shoes. So whatever, but not religious. So if you take a look, positive again, solo es el verbo. Cualquier verbo, no le pongan atención al do, solo es cualquier verbo. Negative, sí es obligación que lleve don't. No hay combinaciones. El verbo tal cual. Y expreso una prohibición. Okay. Now, give me your prohibitions. ¿Qué pueden hacer in your company? And what is something that you cannot do? What is something that your boss says, oh, don't do that, okay? Ignacio says, for example, don't bring ripped jeans, which is valid. What about the rest of you? I will give you five minutes, and I want you to make a list, okay, de lo que sí pueden y lo que no pueden, de las órdenes que reciben o de las órdenes que ustedes dan. Either way, cualquier, cualquiera que funcione. Because I know that some of you are in manager position or you give orders, right? So that is great. And we can share that. So 
So five minutes. Escribamos tanto como podamos, as many as you can. Oh, Carlos, I'm checking your machine. Yes, this is the machine. So you put ground on it? Yes, and, and sand. Oh. Yes, machine ground. What is the machine for? What? Um, what is the, the use or what is the purpose of the machine? Uh, is a... Uh... Like to smooth, como una lija, to the smooth. The objective of the machine is reduce the, the resin in the product. Okay. That's why you use sand. When, when you have one product that have uh, a lot of resin, epox, epoxy resin, mm -hmm. uh, I put the product in this machine and the machine uh, uh, desgasta o lija el producto. Oh. Que se hace con, con chorros, este, como de agua, pero es, es, son granos and. y arenas. Ajá. Oh. Son granos y arenas a, a desgastarlo hasta el tamaño que usted lo quiere. Very interesting. So at the end, funciona como una lija. It sounds like a yes. sandpaper. Okay, pero, okay. Pero con aire. Funciona mm. con aire prácticamente. And sun. <laughs> okay, like, very interesting. Very interesting. Porque si no usan sun, eh, sun paper. Okay, so in the chat, I see be friendly from Richard. Don't be this res this disrespectful. Okay, okay, yeah, they are very good. I like them. They are good. What other orders do you receive? Don't okay. Only with without the V, Brian. We don't need V. Only don't smoke. But it's okay. Don't smoke. Any other? Yes, Jocelyn? How do you say eh, como carcajar, carcajarse? Como reírse <laughs> super fuerte. Okay, like laugh loudly. So la voy a escribir. I'm going to write it down. So laugh. Laugh is carcajearse. Loudly is como muy fuerte. Don't laugh loudly. And tu, 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 tu. I read, let me see. Uh, Brian, I'm reading yours. They are good. Solo los primeros dos que te moles el B, porque serían tres, uh, dos verbos. B and smoke, que te el B, don't smoke. El segundo, don't ah, be okay. eat, que te mole el B, don't eat. Be punctual is good. El be orderly creo que se refiere a ser ordenado, ¿verdad? Yeah. Um, yeah. We can change it, quizás por organize. Deme un momentito, eh, Ignacio. Maybe organized. we can use the word be organized. Mm -hmm. organized. Instead of orderly. Es un poquito más como eh, be organized, be respectful, be organized. I ever said to my students, don't use copy and paste in your whole word. Oh, okay. Yes. So don't plagiarize. Yeah, I know, that's a sad. <laughs> I totally understand that. Uh, tell me, Ignacio. Uh, it's, it's similar, uh, the word. For example, say don't and cannot. Mm, 
eh, no, no podemos eh, combinarlos. We cannot combine them. Uh -huh. Okay. No, not here. Tendría que ser una de las dos solamente. Okay. That would be uh, It's my, my, my example. In the workshop in our company, mm -hmm. at the special area, have a instruction. Mm -hmm. Say, you, you cannot enter the workshop without personal protective equipment. Oh, that's a good one. Don't enter the workshop without equipment. Mm -hmm. That's a very good one. Let me, let me, they are very interesting. I didn't know you had so many uh, regulations at work. Don't drink beer at the office. Don't use short skirt or leggings, okay, at work, all right. Sure. It is another example, for example, we cannot or we don't eat in our spot. It's okay, como es una regulación, podemos solamente decir don't, right? So don't eat in your spot. Mm -hmm. uh, Ingrid, uh, your sentence is very good, don't drink beer, solo que tomo el B, don't drink, hasta ahí está perfecto. Don't drink, sin el B. Don't eat. Teacher, what do you at say? The decir formalmente. Uh, wear formal clothes, wear formal attire. So wear, wear formal clothes. Wear formal clothing or attire, que es lo mismo. Wear formal attire. Okay. Wow, so you have a couple of regulations. Guys, what are some of the things that you cannot do or que son reglas in your company? For example, we know don't smoke, don't drink beer. ¿Qué más no pueden hacer? What is something you cannot do? Don't use the cell phone. Don't use the cell phone. Natalie said don't copy and paste, which is a bad practice. Anything else? Don't. Don't laugh in the office. Don't laugh, like the carcajearse. Yeah. Okay, don't laugh at the office. That's all right. Anything else? Let me read. I guess I have more. Don't speak at work. Oh, Pedrina, what do you mean by don't speak? Como no se puede hablar para nada. You cannot speak at all. No, no, porque es call center. <laughs> No, Kiri. Calladito, calladito, solo con el cliente. No, no puede hablar. Mm -mm. ¿Cómo se comunica? How do you communicate? <laughs> fuera de, fuera de ahí. Oh, ok. So, si está dentro del área, if you are in the area, you can no not speak. Wow. Yes. Wow. Don't okay. shout up. Shout up. Shout. They shout. Uh, yes. shout. Shout. Don't shout out. Mm -hmm. Don't use shout the out. cell phone in the office. Okay. Okay. Smoking. So don't smoke. Don't sleep. <laughs> yes, what I mean, don't sleep. <laughs> okay, don't take don't a nap, drink beer. guys. Uh -huh. Don't drink beer. Don't take naps. Yeah, Norbert. What else, Norbert? What else, Mabel? What can you tell us? Don't shut out. <laughs> Don't use the cell phone in the concerner. Oh, okay. Don't use the cell phone. All right. Anything else? Don't smoke. Ya las dijeron. The smoking. Don't sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like the, the general ones. What is it? Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Yes. <laughs> Okay, no, I would say worry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I happy. smile for the client. Oh, yeah, <laughs> smile for your ¿Cómo clients. Que, ¿Cómo yes. se dice de particular? O sea, no llegar de particular. Uh, well, una forma de decirlo es que utilice uniforme, wear your uni uniform. O sea, pero una forma de decir no llegar de particular, o sea, o sea, o sería una, o nada más decir tiene que llegar con uniforme. Lo que sucede es que a veces hay 
es como más fuerte si se dice de una u de la otra forma. En Spanish es más común para nosotros decirlo, no, no vaya de particular. En inglés sería wear, wear a uniform. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that would be the one that we use. Okay. Uh, like, wear the uniform at all times. Do not use Como it. Como todo el tiempo. Padrina? Se me fue la idea. Don't use, creo que era cell phone. Ajá, si no, do not use cell phone in, in office. Exactly. Don't use your cell phone in the office. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your ideas. They are very nice. Now let's go ahead and let's go for this part. It says here, make a list of the do's and don'ts of the company, que es lo que acabamos de hacer, right? This is exactly what we just did. So we have an idea of las cosas que podemos y las cosas que no podemos hacer in your place. Um, now let's go over the following part. Y luego les explico what is going to be the activity we will do. So it says here, we use imperatives to give orders, instructions, invitations, etc. For example, read the chart and check the pieces. Unplug, que desconecte. Unplug the cord and connect the blue one. Fill in the report. Verify the oil level. Todas son órdenes. All of them are commands. Y solo utilizo verbos para eso. So, for the following activity, vamos a usar estos verbos that are on top. Look at the diagram of, of how chocolate uh, is made. Label. ¿Qué dijimos que era label? What is the meaning of label? Etiqueta. Mm, ya, yeah, puede ser como etiquetar. La viñeta. Etiqueta, viñetar, ya. Yeah. Uh, o ponerle un nombre. En teoría o en forma general es ponerle un nombre. So, uh, label each step in order using the words in the diagram. Veamos primero cuáles son las palabras. Ground. What's the meaning of ground? Tierra, piso. Ok, la tierra, pero también cuando hablamos de acciones es... Como diminuir. Como, moler hacer, o algo así. Exacto, exacto. Moler o hacer pequeñito. All right. Then we have mix. I don't think this is difficult. Then we have form, que es como en español, como armar, form, make. Then we have assemble. What is assemble? Do you remember? No, es como ensamblar o armar. Exactly, exactly. Armar, ensamblar, poner todo junto, that's assemble. Then we have label, like piñeta, right? Then we have check. And the other one we have is separate. So, lo que vamos a hacer es ponerle or choose, select, cuál es el verbo que corresponde a estas acciones. So, we are going to talk about what is the process here, utilizando los verbos de arriba. Uh, ya tenemos el primero. We are talking about chocolate, remember. So, the first one says, separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. So, the raw materials, el producto... Eh, that we call la materia prima, el producto así en bruto, you know. So separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. ¿Cuál sería el siguiente? What is the next step? All the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. What is the next one? What is the raw material, teacher? Uh, raw materials es materia prima. Todos los materiales con los que cuentan. Mm -hmm. So separate the raw materials to get mix. only mix. the best cocoa mix. Mix. Okay. mix all the ingredients to make the cocoa tablet. Ground no. all the ingredients. I don't know you tell sugar. me. Sugar. <laughs> sugar. Check all the ingredients. Ground all the ingredients. So, se parecen mucho. All of them are very similar. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes para que seleccionen el verbo that fits in each of the steps. Remember, estamos haciendo chocolate, right? <laughs> Remember, this is chocolate. Okay.
for one more minute. Um, are you ready? Do you need more time? More time, teacher. Are ready? I'll give you two more minutes. Carlos, le voy a escribir. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So let's take a look at the at the exercise we have and let's compare answers. Um, some of these puede que se parezcan, so they can be kind of similar, you know, but always hay un verbo que queda mejor. But it's a word that fits better. So let's take a look. Uh, number one is already done for you and it says separate. What about number two? All the ingredients to make the chocolate table, uh, tablet, sorry. What do you have in number two? For all the ingredients. For all the ingredients? To make the chocolate table. Okay, I think it's algo different. Do you have the same? Talk to us. I check the ingredients. I check the ingredients. Check. I, I think it's mix. Check the Check. Okay. So, como tenemos todos los ingredients, you know, mix, mix. what do we do? <laughs> so, we mix or we check. Okay, dejémoslo por ahí, luego regresamos, no worries. It says, the third one, the cocoa beans into powder. ¿Qué uh, hacemos ground. con los beans? Uh, ground. Ground. Ground, exactly. So, the cocoa beans into powder. Porque lo vamos a hacer como bien pequeñito. So, let me choose this one. Okay, that would be ground. Uh, oops, that was another one. Hold on. Uh, tu, 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 tu. Okay, ground the cocoa beans into powder. Next one, the powder with milk. ¿Qué es lo que mix, hacemos? Mix, mix the powder with milk. Ah, so acá es que mezclamos, right? Okay, so let's take a look. Mix yourself. That would be right there. Se durmió tu hermano. Okay, that would be mixing. Okay, let's move on with the next one. It says the chocolate package to finish. ¿Qué hacemos con el chocolate package? Label. Label. Mm, label the chocolate package to finish? For? Oh. No, for the chocolate package. For, for the chocolate. For, for the chocolate package. Okay, so tenemos form y tenemos label. Mm, ya vamos a ver, let's take a look at the following. A simple uh, pass or taste, that would be. Yeah, simple paste. ¿Qué hacemos mm. con la pasta? What do we do with that one then? For? Okay, form. Ten tenemos la pasta, right? So we need to form it. Okay. So, to, 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 the package. Ahora, ¿qué hacemos con el paquete? What do we do with the label. package? Oh, label. esto label es lo que we label. Yeah, we label the package. Exactly. So, tenemos todavía tres verbos that we need to select. Tenemos check. Uh, tenemos Air quality and quality control. ¿Qué hacemos con el último? Quality in quality control. ¿Cuál sería esto? Check. Check. Um, check. check quality. Exactly. Acaba check. We have check right here. Check quality in quality control. So, me quedan dos. I'm missing two. I'm missing assemble and I'm missing separate. Oh, separate, ya lo tengo. Y me falta, what is the other one? Assemble the chocolate package Assemble. to finish. Assemble the chocolate package. Yeah, because ahora ya lo voy a ensamblar. Right? Ya lo voy a poner puntito. En acá. So, assemble it. Y tenemos one more. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six. Eight. Me falta uno. I'm missing one. What is missing? Check. Wait, tenemos two, four, only, six. Only have oh. seven. No, nos falta uno. We are missing one. 
but acá podemos utilizar uno que ya mencionaron one that you already mentioned that is mix mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate uh tablet right and that would be it so then we have the process right here um no it's like exactly in this order but we got like the whole idea the whole process to make chocolate and something important is estamos utilizando imperatives porque estamos dando solo una lista de órdenes, right? So that would be the one. Now, guys, I want you to take a look at the following, que es nuestra actividad of today. Oops, give me one second. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Using imperatives, dando órdenes, commands, instructions, etc. We will complete the following exercise. And it says, uh, how to, vamos a hacer un how to. Uh, puede ser cómo hacer algo. Lo que acabamos de hacer era cómo hacer el chocolate, how to make chocolate. This one says, write the steps and show us, si se puede, how to do something. Guys, nos van a enseñar today cómo hacer algo, how to do something. Um, acá hay algunos ejemplos, but doesn't mean that you're going to take them. For example, how to make sandals. Si alguien puede hacer sandalias o how to make sandals. How to make a budget. Cómo hacer un presupuesto, if you can do that. How to use the washing machine. Cómo usar la lavadora, right? Um, how to clean the blender. Uh, cuando utilizamos la, la blender, la licuadora, cómo se limpia, you know, cómo se guarda, um, cómo se assemble, cómo se pone de regreso todas las partes cuando le han hecho pedacitos, ok. So, this is un how to. Nos van a enseñar cómo hacer algo. Um, I'm going to leave the topic open. Les voy a dejar el tema libre. Acá son solamente algunas ideas. But of course, you can select another one. So, Guys, ¿qué es lo que pueden hacer? What can you do? Ese es un how to. How to make, how to use, how to clean. For example, something important is cómo remover, I don't know, chicle de la ropa. <laughs> how to remove bubble gum from your clothes. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué pueden enseñarnos a hacer like, en un par de pasitos fáciles? What is something that you can teach us how to do? How to use, I don't know, Photoshop. Good hair. Oh, can you repeat? How to do good hair. How to cook? Hair. Fair. Oh, like cutting. Okay. Cutting. But, pero, pero en pasos fáciles? <laughs> like it really no. easy is that? No. I think it's more complicated than that. Okay. Oh, for example, ¿cómo teñirse el cabello? How to change the color of your hair. Okay, like in I very know. simple and easy steps. Okay, so vamos a hacerlo en grupo. I want you to practice this because remember, the idea is crear más vocabulario. So try to make it, try to uh, first use your English to talk about it, and then you will come and you will present it. So, eh, busquen temas que pueden ser interesantes for everyone, topics that are interesting for you, para que nos enseñen cómo hacer algo, how to do something. Pasos sencillos, right? Easy steps. So, tu, tu, tu. allow me one moment. And uh, tenemos 10 minutitos. You have 10 minutes. Si ya tienen la lista de, de pasos hechas, please practiquenla tanto como puedan para no leerla para que sea más fácil explicarlos sin leerlos, right? So, let's go ahead. Ten minutes.
Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Thank you, Marvin. Yellowville, I see you already. I think everybody's here. So Natalie, it's not here anymore. Okay. So thanks, everybody. Um, it was very interesting. I was listening to you talking about your projects, the ideas you have. And I think it's going to be really interesting escucharlos, uh, you know, y que nos hey, so, cómo hacer eso. Yeah. so you can explain to us how to do something very like, like simple, you know, in a couple of steps, that would be great. So I want to know if I have volunteers. Is there any volunteer? Me, teacher. Amazing. Thank you very much, Mabel. So your partner was Pedrina, right? Pedrina, yes. Okay. Great. Okay. What are you going to teach us to do? Um, we are going to talk about how to make a nutritious shake. Uh, number one, put meal in the blender. Two, put the banana, oatmeal, and flax seed. And three, number three, mix all ingra ingredients. And finally, server. Only okay, that. So you don't put sugar on it, no honey, no lemon, nothing? No. <laughs> wow. So you put milk, you put banana, banana. Uh, banana. flexes. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Oh, and oatmeal. Okay. Oatmeal and flex. No ice. No sugar. Water, just the milk. Uh, water, uh, ya está al lado del agua, <laughs> sin hielo, porque oh, cool. se prepara cold con water. The water is cold. Uh, yeah, cool. uh, like cold water. Okay, have you ever tasted, have you ever tasted that shake? ¿Alguna vez lo ha probado? Have you ever tasted that shake? Tasted qué es? De, de probar, si lo ha probado, ah, no, sí, yo, de hecho yo lo preparo así, <ríe> con agua. Oh. Ok, ok. Yeah, I mean, the oh. flex seeds, they don't have a bad taste, so I think it's ok. Mm -hmm. Ah, no tiene sabor, o sea, es rica. Y generalmente no avena, sino que granola, ¿cómo sería? Daddy, oh my God, you have giving me a, a, a core over there. Give oh, me one okay. second. Water, water. What is it? Hmm? Eh, water, water. Es eh, como la no, vena no. water, teacher. Mm. Ah, no, pero eh, ese es, es That otro. is the brand. Granole brand. But I understand um, that is, uy, uh, wait, wait, mm. granola. A granola? Well, it's the same. Okay. Well, granola. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Okay, okay, I didn't know. Okay, so, okay, instead of oatmeal, you put granola on it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, no that sugar. sounds like a very healthy. So, no sugar, not sugar. no, nothing Vanilla. else, just a little water. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. I like it a lot. Thank you very much, girls, for presenting that. I think I will start doing that. <laughs> okay, next person. Who wants to go next? Who wants to be next? Volunteers? Okay, let's go with okay. some big things. <laughs> yeah, Ignacio. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I am I, uh, the big team. Okay. okay, thank you for being victim number one. <laughs> okay, tell okay. us about it. My my mom, my mom taught me how to make natural cow medicine. Like for the cow? Uh, cow, yeah. Oh it's a okay. simple it's a simple okay. it's a simple ingredient. Okay. The first extract joyce from three lemons. Okay. And two, put three spoons of holly, honey, sorry, it's honey. Honey, okay, 
So take the juice honey. of three lemons, put some honey. Lemon, okay. honey, and um, green and onion, red onion. Green and red onion. Okay, the red yeah. one? Yes. One, one and onion. One, one onion. No, oh, that's yes, a one, lot. one onion. Okay. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And um, mix mix the ingredient. Okay. Uh, mix mix vigorously ingredients. Okay. Mix. Just a question. When you say mix the ingredients, um, okay. I I see the the lemon. I see the honey. What about the onion? Do you chop it? Do you squeeze it? Green green green. Oh, so you gotta grind it. Okay, okay. Yeah, but in the when the the all these are mixed, mm -hmm. take uh, four tablespoon, mm -hmm. four tablespoon, and before going to bed, and you like you drink it. Yeah, and okay. and you and you don't have cow. In the sleep all night, all night. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. I have never heard about that, especially with onion. Guys, okay. alguien lo ha hecho como Ignacio lo menciona. Have you ever done it like that when you have the cup? Yo, Miss, a él de que no sabía, yo sabía que se podía hacer la miel con un limón para la tos, pero no sabía que se le puede echar cebolla morada. Yeah, right? I didn't know either. Oh, Ingrid, you got it. Okay. Well, but I didn't know. That is new for me because I understand that you take the liquid, you drink it, but I don't like onion. <laughs> Pedrina, do you know about that? Uh -huh. It's like junk. Uh, Pedrina, ¿lo he hecho alguna vez? Oh, so you have tasted that. It's not yeah. bad. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I like it. It's... But the, the onion is raw. I mean, the, la, yeah. la onion is cruda. The onion is raw. No, se cose. Oh, no. like you boil it? Yes. Hierve? So you boil everything. Mm -hmm. oh. With the water. And oh, that is the part I missed. Okay. And with the the the. So you drink. So you drink like a tea. Se toma como un tecito, I guess. Like some tablespoon. Yes. Ignacio said. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so you put ginger on it. Okay. I I think we have to taste it. I think we have to give it a try. Ignacio, is it good? Is the flavor good? It's, it's very good for the sleep all night. Okay, and the flavor, is it acceptable? Like el sabor, the flavor? The flavor is a, like like a medicine, uh, industrial medicine. Oh, okay, okay. I think I have to give it a try. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. I didn't know, that's new for me. Norbert. Let me, no, wait, ayer quedamos algunos pendientes. Yesterday, I remember we mentioned algunos no los pude escuchar. So I'd like to listen to them. Uh, let me see, Clary, Clary, ¿está por ahí? Are you around? I remember yesterday Norberto participated, but Are I you? didn't listen to you. Pedrina, perfecto. Okay, let's, let's go ahead. Uh, no sé si tiene uh, uno diferente al de Mabel. She presented the like the shake, como el batido. No. El mismo tengo. You have the same. Oh, okay, sí. okay. Yeah, but maybe we can modify it later. No, no worries, because si es el mismo, I think we okay. can modify it later. No worries. Quedamos pendiente. <laughs> but we are still <laughs> pending. No worries. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, Norbert. Uh, me, uh, how to prepare uh, a pizza? 
Oh, okay. Let's listen to that one. So how to make a pizza? I don't. I cannot make a pizza. Who can make a pizza here, guys? This is um. It's new. It's new uh, pizza. A new pizza. Okay. Yes. Uh, and Maria Frears, preparer of the dough, preparer la la masa. Uh, second, uh, left threads, uh, twenty minimum. Eh, dejar reposar la masa unos 20 minutos. Eh, after eh, put will eh, oil, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, aceite. Oil. Oil eh, in the molds. Y en puk, en puk dal. Eh, after eh, Put the uh, put uh, cheeks, pepperoni, uh, oil, uh, squid paper, uh, squid paste. ¿Cómo se dice chile dulce? Squid paper. Sweet. 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 Sweet pepper. Sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, pineapple. Okay, like um, a Hawaiian. <laughs> okay. Um, and bake, and bake, and bake um, 20 minutes. For, for 20 minutes, okay. Amazing. <laughs> he's, already, he's, already, he's already making hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, yeah. I didn't have dinner. <laughs> so I'm just, uh, I'm just listening to the dough and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> that is going to make me hungry. Okay, guys, I have kind of news for you, you know, now that we are talking about this topic of how to. So what we are going to be doing for the following uh, week is the, the next, para el día lunes, for Monday, Vamos a presentar un video. We are going to make a video de cómo hacer algo, how to do something. So, lo pueden hacer en su casa, you know, y nos van a compartir solo el link. Ya les voy a actualizar en la plataforma donde ustedes puedan subir su link and, uh, para que podamos ver su video. So, you are, for example, presenting um, how to make a pizza, how to make a shake, how to, si Brian nos quiere enseñar cómo cortar cabello, that's fine. Um, if Carlos, for example, nos okay. quiere explicar uh, cómo usar una máquina, how to use a machine, or how to cook something, so that would be great. It is welcome. Eh, van a grabarlo. No les pido una grabación profesional or anything. With your cell phone, cualquier teléfono that you have at hand, todos se pueden grabar. Pueden usar, you know, like a selfie mode to record, o le piden a alguien de su casa que les ayude grabando, you know. And uh, I think three minutes maximum, like a three minute maximum, one minute, two minutes, that would be great. Y nos explican el proceso. No solo es grabarse, right? Sino explicarnos el proceso. Uh, for example, lo que ya prepararon, nos pueden explicar cómo hacerlo. So how to make pupusas. Y nos explican desde el inicio. So first, you prepare the dough and you put some water on it. Y lo van haciendo, right? No solamente es narrar, sino explain how to do it and do it on your own. Eh, es para el próximo lunes. We are going to do it for next Monday. So, ten, tienen estos días, tienen todo el fin de semana, que sé que tienen, eh, tenemos más tiempo sometimes, eh, y no les va a tomar mucho, like 10 minutes, lo que estén cocinando in your house. Si hacen huevitos, you know, okay, so how to make eggs. And then you just record it. A veces subimos TikToks, you know. <laughs> Sometimes hacemos TikTok, sometimes we make videos o usamos status. Es lo mismo. Lo único que vamos a hacer es cambiar el idioma inglés. And that would be it, right? So, ya se los actualizo para que lo tengan listo desde el día de mañana. Guys, ayúdenme con su camarita, please. Help me out with some, uh, with your camera. I'm going to take the last attendance of the day. Uh, me faltaban algunos eh, de confirmación, así que también me regalan confirmation that you are here. So, Ana Delmi, Anita. Present teacher. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Um, mm -mm, Brian. I'm here. Thank you. Carlos. Present. 
Thank you, uh, Natalie. Creo que Natalie es, mm, le falló el internet. Uh, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie. I don't see Jacqueline. Okay. Um, uh, Jocelyn. Present. There you go. Thank you. Ignacio. Present. Not a bird. Present. Thank you. Mr. Bonilla. I be here. I be here. Thank you so much. Uh, Marvin Lopez. Present teacher. Present Marvin, thank you so, so much. Um, Clary, Claribel. Creo que por ahí estaba Clary. Moses. Present. Hello Miss, I am here. Thank you Miss, gracias Moses. Pedrina. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Rene. Present, present. Thank you, Richard. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you. Mabel. Present. Thank you so much. And Magali. In Ingrid, I mean. Oh, Magali, <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and I say Ingrid because it's like the first name. So, uh, teacher. okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Brian. El video lo vamos a dejar en el grupo o... Como lo vamos hemos compartido a, subir. a veces autos. Ya, yeah, exactly the same way, porque a veces en la plataforma muy pesados no les va a permitir subirlo. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, eh, se los voy a actualizar, actualizar en discusiones. Eh, les voy a explicar mañana a dónde está para que ustedes ya lo puedan subir. Vamos a hacerlo de la misma manera as we always do. Eh, subimos nuestro video en nuestro drive, en el personal, y sacamos su link. Right. So, le buscamos ahí como compartir el link del video. Solamente me lo dejan open, ¿ok? Para después no decirle, mire, eh, Jocelyn, deme autorización para verlo. <ríe> Porque eso no les queda privado. Se lo dejan libre para que todos podamos verlo y tengan, uh, tengamos acceso al video. Eh, no está todavía actualizado. Se lo voy a abrir hasta mañana para que tengan mañana, tengan el sábado, domingo, para poder hacerlo. Y you know, el lunes, el resto del día también. So, um, mm -hmm. you are so welcome. Yes. Este, puede ser um, de alguna creatividad también. Claro, puede ser lo que sea que es un how to, cómo hacer algo. Si usted oh. nos quiere mostrar cómo hacer limpieza, está bien. Cómo sacar alguna mancha, cómo lavar algo, cómo regar las plantas. Puede ser anything que lo pueda describir en un periodo de uno a tres minutitos. From one to three minutes, that would be perfect. Okay. So, por supuesto, una creatividad nos no da tú como todos los pasos, right? Especialmente si es origami. So, how to do something. Um, si les ayuda ahora con la cuarentena, you know, muchas personas hicieron videos de cómo hacer algo, how to do something. And uh, how to, cómo pintarse las uñas, if you are a girl, if you are a boy. ¿Se han visto ideas en cinco minutos? So, I think everybody has like some ideas there. You can watch any video. Lo único que van a hacer es ir explicando paso a paso, right? First, hacemos esto. Second, we do this. Third, et cetera, et cetera. Y ahí vamos. Uh, chicos, los voy dejando. Pedrina me regala un par de minutitos, please. Los demás les damos dismissed. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good night. Enjoy it. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye, guys. See, bye. You, see, bye -bye. You. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. See you, Marvin. Bye, Clis. See you, Alex. Bye, Ignacio. See you. Bye. Bye, Tani. Bye, Brenda. Deme un segundito, Pedrina. Just give me okay. one second. Voy a limpiar acá. And... Ahora sí. ¿Qué tal, Pedrina? ¿Cómo está? How are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente, Miss? ¿Casadita? Un poco. Not too much. Not much. 
Already. So, give me one second. Eh, primero lo primero, ¿tiene acceso a la plataforma? ¿Ya me confirmó? ¿Todo bien? Eh, solo entré a bajar el, el, el material. Ah, Pero perfecto. Ya. Sí, tengo acceso. Eh, es, ah, exacto, exacto. Entonces sí tenemos acceso. Vaya, excelente. Eh, sí, mi recomendación es que empecemos a completar los ejercicios eh, y no lo dejemos todo para el viernes, right? Porque si no, va a ser bastante. Horrible, sí. Va, si no, va a ser bastante. En, en cinco minutos que tenga de almuerzo, try, you know, try to complete sí. the exercises. Exacto. Ok. So, tell me. Um, Well, I remember, eh, pues, nada, de las cositas, lastimosamente lo tenemos como bien rápido, bien temprano en el módulo, aunque de cierta forma es bueno porque le podemos dar seguimiento durante todo el, el módulo, right? Um, so, recuerdo que, que una de las, bueno, de hecho avanzó bastante, siento que el módulo anterior avanzó bastante, se comunicaba más, me les fue perdiendo un poquito más el miedo, eh, solamente era de trabajar la parte de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y la organización de ideas. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se siente de la finalización del módulo anterior y de este módulo? Este, aprendí más, ya aprendí un poco más. O sea, uh -huh. como que el miedo se me ha ido quitando, porque ese era uh -huh. mi problema. O sea, sí, yo siento que el módulo anterior me perdió bastante el miedo. So, <risa> ya se animaba a... a a expresar ideas, a comentar, sí. y eso es perfecto, porque es como uh, uno da ese salto, ¿verdad? De, de, okay. sí. de, de tener miedo a, a ya, bueno, voy a decirle, no importa, y de eso se trata, so nice. Ok, hoy lo Now. que hago es, digo las palabras, las grabo y las escucho. La yes. grabo y las escucho. Yes. <risa> ver, yes. Palabras para ver así. Las que no memorar. conoce, las que son sí. nuevas. Yes. Ah, y estoy tratando también de aprender palabras nuevas, porque para las ideas y Excelente. armar oraciones, no, súper bien, súper bien. ¿Cuántas palabras se está aprendiendo, like, every day? Pues fíjense que vaya, por lo menos eh, palabras así como cosas, eh, objetos, ver, objetos, animales, ah. esas cosas para ya ir uniendo, ¿verdad? Porque Super por lo bien. menos lo de la descripción del trabajo, me costó uh -huh. menos hacerla de mi trabajo porque ya había aprendido algunas palabras. No, súper bien, I like it. Ok, ok, ok. Well, de hecho, este ejercicio que vamos a hacer, la tarea del video, nos va a ayudar a conectar las ideas mejor, you know, it's going to help us a lot. Porque, um, por ejemplo, ahorita es como how to, cómo hacer algo. Usted nos puede explicar cualquier habilidad que usted tenga, you know, y nos puede enseñar cómo hacerlo. Entonces, al momento que usted comience como, hello, everybody, va a tener la necesidad de crear oraciones, ¿ok? Exacto. Like, today I'm going to talk about this topic. Mm -hmm. And lo que podemos hacer, eh, si se siente más cómoda o si le ayuda, es antes de grabar el video, eh, me puede grabarse, you know, you can record your, your, lo puede escribir, por ejemplo, lo practica, lo graba y me envía solo el audio. Para, de esa forma yo se lo reviso, lo escucho mm -hmm. y si hay alguna palabrita que cambiarle, eh, la cambiamos antes del video para que okay. el video le salga mejor, right? So we can do that, we can do that. Con la pronunciación, esa es una muy buena práctica. Repetir sí. algo, grabarlo, escucharlo. Um, por lo general de YouTube, ¿revisa eh, algunos sí. videos o algo? Sí, sí. A lo que, ajá, también me pongo a ver palabras. Hay unos aquí que dice 100 palabras comunes que, que dicen, vea, las escucho. Ok, <risa> excelente. Eso es de los mejores ejercicios. Solo le recomiendo que, exacto, si las escucha, las es, no sé cómo aprende usted mejor, escribiendo. Le funciona escucho más escribiendo. Y escribo, escucho y escribo, solo que como a veces las dicen bien rápido, tengo que retroceder. Claro, claro, no, pero, pero súper bien. Exacto, si las escucha, las escribe, intente también in, eh, poner la parte de grabación. Cuando uh -huh. ya termina, por ejemplo, 10 palabras, eh, repita la palabra unas 10 veces cada una, you ¿no? Know? Si la palabra fue, por ejemplo, boring, se la repita, boring, 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 boring. Uh -huh. 
happy, 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 sad, sad, uh -huh. sad. Y luego le repite todas, boring, happy, sad. Uh -huh. Para que también usted se escuche y es como, uy, no suena igual. O, ah, ya suena uh -huh. igual, you know. Entonces, <risa> eso nos ayuda con pronunciación y también a que usted se escuche. Recuerde que el tono de voz cambia. <risa> De inglés a español. Y la palabra la igual, o sea, por la pronunciación usted puede estar diciendo otra cosa, no lo que ha escrito. Ya, yeah. entonces <risa> es importante recordar. Hoy dígame, dígame. la oración esa, la hice, la descripción, se la digo a una compañera y me dice, no hombre, ahí está diciendo otra cosa. <risa> ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál, dígamela, ¿cuál era? Ya la tiene lista. Sí, 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 aquí lo tenía, por lo menos. Aprovechemos, tú. dígamela. Tenía esa palabra, ya le digo. Este, como no la sabía, la puse en el traductor y ese lo engaña a uno a veces. Entonces, a, a veces es bastante fiel, pero, sí. <risa> pero pocas veces. O sea, yo, yo puse ahí, vea. Entonces, esta, quiero ver a quién me la pusieron. Vaya, estaba poniendo el Die Wicker y el, el, quería poner semanas, meses, y me puso Fortnite. Eso no era nada, o sea, yo no estaba poniendo noche y me lo estaba traduciendo como noche. Entonces, lo quité, lo quité al final. ¿Cuál era la palabra que quería poner? Va, quería poner, ya le, ya le digo, aquí dice. Formón, formón. En el español decía el delivery alguna de las compañías. Va. En el español decía que yo prestaba mensajería por hora, por día, por semana, por quincena y por mes. Pero en una de esas, el traductor, como yo no podía, el traductor me puso Fortnite. Y esa Juntito. era... Juntito. Se sí. lo puso junto. Junto. Lo que pasa Ajá. es que la palabra Fortnite es 15 días. Ah, bueno, Ajá. pero mi compañero, cuando yo lo pronuncié, ah, eso es 15 días, entonces correcto, sí. estaban equivocados mis compañeros también. Fortnite, ¿y eso qué es? De sí. noche, quizás la noche. No, está, está, pero está juntito, right? No, sí, no hay junto, espacio. Junto, Fortnite. Okay. Cuando está Ajá. junto, cuando es, ah, Fortnite, junto, Fortnite, sí, significa Fortnite. como una quincena, ah, como okay. oh, nuestra catorcena. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, es eso? no estaba equivocado. Y todos diciéndome, <ríe> no, eso está equivocado, ¿cómo vas a poner por noche? No, eso no es por noche. <ríe> no, porque es por, por noche cuando se separa, cuando está por no, y luego night. Unido. Por Pero night, unidito ¿no? es quincena. Ah, uh -huh. bueno, entonces mañana les voy a decir, porque sí me lo tacharon. No, <ríe> lo es que, que pasa no. es que es una palabra que no cualquier persona conoce, right? Ah, Como no es muy común, bien. no es una palabra muy común, pero sí existe, <ríe> es quincena. Ya, bueno, entonces si ya aprendí una <ríe> nueva palabra, la voy a repetir porque realmente yo me perdí, la quité de mi, tra de mi párrafo, la quité. Ajá. Sí. Es que a veces Google Translator no es confiable, pero a veces sí. Lo que le recomiendo es cuando una, una palabra usted no esté segura, escríbala, ¿verdad? No en el traductor, sino escríbale en Google y póngale uh -huh. meaning de significado. Uh -huh. oh, y entonces okay. ahí, ahí se le da como ya el contexto, porque Google no da contexto. Ah, Pero póngala okay. en, el, en, el, en Google normal, sin el traductor, uh -huh. póngala normal. Uh -huh. O por ejemplo, cuando quiera saber una palabra, a mí me gusta mucho poner imágenes, porque escribo la uh -huh. palabra, pongo la imagen y es como, ay no, esta no es la imagen, entonces uh -huh. busco otra. Eso sí, ayuda bastante imágenes. para buscar ah, significado con imágenes. imágenes. Mm -hmm. Pero ah, Fortnite sí funciona. Ah, bueno, sí existe. Sí, 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 cada mañana voy a ir porque no, o sea, okay. ellos también están estudiando inglés. Ah, entonces, ok. Como, entonces yo cuando me puse a leerles el párrafo y les dije esos nombres, si eso no es, que está diciendo ahí. <risa> entonces mañana llega, les gusta y les dice, les tengo una palabra nueva. <risa> Pero es una palabra un poco técnica, sí, quizás bueno, por bueno. eso. Uh -huh. bueno, That is the one. One. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces quedamos pendiente con el ejercicio. El Cuando bien. ya lo tenga listo, me manda un audio, se lo graba, lo practica y, y, y yo le hago las correcciones para que ya en el video salga como okay. más fluido, más fácil, etc. Gracias, Pedrina, por su bien, tiempo. Bien. Gracias por la motivación, you know. Y mañana llegue las que tienen una palabra nueva. Voy a llegar a tener que irse. Gracias. I know. You're welcome. Que descanse. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.